used to be interesting listening to trainers and fighters talk about how to attack Mayweather. They'd say hit him anywhere you can or hit him in the arms, etc, etc, etc. A lot of them didn't have a viable plan of attack and it showed in the fight. Floyd finished his career with the best plus minus ever, which in the case of his defense was largely due to the Philly shell and shoulder roll. Depending on when they fought Floyd and what kind of film study they were doing, the answer to the question of how they should attack the shell should have been right in front of them because Floyd himself answered it definitively in 2005, but I'll get back to that in a minute. Welterweight Phenom Virgil Ortiz and Samuel Vargas. And the fight with Vargas is being thoroughly outboxed and beaten up. Vargas deploys his own version of the shell defense and finds some success against the ropes in round four. Good uppercut for Vargas. And there it is again. I don't know if the corner reminded Ortiz or he had a light bulb moment himself, but by round seven he figured it out. He shifts right to the weak or lead side angle and leaves gaping holes in the defense of Vargas. Weak side angle shifts, step shuffles, and pivots expose the shell defense in every way. The movement has no threat of a counter because of the mechanics of the shell with the weak side bladed and the forearm across the body. I use this clip because Ortiz doesn't punch, so it's a perfect open canvas to see how the new angle affects Vargas and what strikes Ortiz has available with the weak side angle. For Vargas, his backhand and arm are no longer in position to block the three hook or the five uppercut unless he puts his glove directly in front of his face. To keep form, Vargas has to turn and reset. And during that turn, he's vulnerable to the two cross and the four hook to the body or head. Three and five before the turn, two and four during the turn. So let's get back to Floyd. Unfortunately for Arturo Gatti, Floyd brutally showed how to beat the shell in his first pay-per-view fight in 2005. He wasn't the first to expose the shell, but Floyd was probably the most effective. Floyd wasn't nice like Ortiz and took full advantage of the exposures. I'm finna get in there and destroy this kid. <laughs> With Gotti and his version of the shell, Floyd knew how to take advantage. There's a lot going on here boxing-wise, but I'll stick to the point. Floyd throws the lead to with the pivot to the weak side, then throws a five before Gotti turns. During the turn, affords the body and another two up top. Lead two. Weak side pivot, five before the turn, two during the turn. Lead two, then a pivot to the weak side, three before the turn. Four, three low, pivot to the weak side, four up top on the turn. Lunging three, pivot to the weak side, three, two, three, four before and during the turn. Finally, lead two with the back step shuffle to the weak side, merciful two, and the completed demolishing of the Toro Gatti. Now Floyd showed us that attacking weak side angles with semi-advanced footwork is a great blueprint on how to attack the shell. Just for balance sake, fortunately there's a counter to everything in boxing. If you're in the shell and your opponent attacks the weak side, simply bend at the waist and pivot opposite the opponent's position and get out. Thanks for watching.